Hello everyone, Jeffrey Kruger here. Welcome to my part one video on fastening a beautiful white sapphire that I will be doing and I'm going to make a series of videos until this gem is completely faceted. So I hope you enjoy this and right now I'm just going to show a little bit about my machine. It's a very solid machine, antique machine that I've completely rebuilt and I've used it for years and I really enjoy cutting sapphires on this machine. I use diamond laps because sapphires are a hardness of nine and you can see that the sapphires come in such a beautiful variety of colors. And sapphires will give generations of of wear and tear and withstand just about anything. The only enemy a sapphire has is another sapphire or a diamond. People ask me what the key to good faceting is and it's just patience and solid holding of the workpiece. Solid holding of the workpiece. Very, very big plus in the fastening department as far as I'm concerned. Right now, speaking of holding the workpiece, I have this stem which attaches to the machine and I have the gem pre-warming with this microscope light which is 15 watts with this tin can. I want to warm this gem up. I don't want to get it too hot. I've degreased the gem with denatured alcohol. I've also pre-shaped the gem way more than normal but for this video I went a little overboard. Uh, I'm going to light this alcohol lamp now because I want to here's my dop wax and I want to heat up the stem to attach with dop wax the sapphire I can feel the sapphire is getting warmed up nicely there not too hot Just get that flame to warm up that stem. Okay, I'm going to test this a little bit here. Okay, you can see the Okay, I'm getting some wax to go in there. This is great. You don't want to overheat the wax. You want to you want to just flow that wax so that you can see. You don't want the wax to start on fire or anything, but you want to. I want to fill that up. I want that to have a nice surface tension. coming up. Okay. I'm going to put it right next to the flame there. Heat that up a little more. There we go. There you go. I can see. See how that has a nice So it has a really nice, it's going to be fine right there. The gem is very nice and warm. Okay, see how it has that kind of a shiny radius there? Okay, I'm going to, let me shut that alcohol lamp off there. See, it still, still has that nice, nice shiny radius. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to drop this gem on there. It'll flow over a little bit. I'm going to put it right down here. Right down here like that. 
and I'm just going to position it just a little bit. Okay, that is right now on that stem, and I'm going to let that cool, completely cool. And I know that that is not going to come off until I'm finished fastening that whole crown and want to transfer the stem. How we get that sapphire off that stem, I'll show you in the next videos. So for now, this has been part one, and I will go over more about the fastening machine and various procedures as we proceed through these series of videos. So thank you very much and have an excellent day everyone.